All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, and today we're going to be watching John Wick Chapter 2. Um, so last week for us yesterday, we just did a John Wick reaction. Absolutely, absolutely epic action movie. Um, we're going to be doing John Wick 2. Let us know if you guys want us to do John Wick 3. We never done the reactions on the channel, um, even though we have kind of seen these movies. But honestly, I love getting into them, kind of doing like a commentary breakdown sort of thing. And I also thought it would be kind of a cool way to, to maybe kickstart us doing a bunch of action movies. You know, there's Bond, there's Nobody, there's, you know, there's a few things in between there that we could do. So let us know if you guys want us to do that. Um, I don't know. Overall, I'm kind of excited and I just kind of want to get straight into it. As always, full length reaction is going to be up at the Patreon. The next reaction, like I said, if that's John Wick Chapter 3 or something else, this movie here is also going to be up on Patreon for you guys to go ahead and check out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. We would love to have you. And all that being said, let's just get into John Wick Chapter 2. And just a disclaimer, you, uh, Nine Tail Breast is a little bit uh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because something is sweeping the world. I'll probably be sick of the next few reactions too. So Not just bad. bear with us if we're a little out of it or coughing or something like that. Whenever I hear that screaming sound effect now, I think of Nope. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yeah, that was another thing that they did really well. Um, was like the the thing with like the, the lights. They make it very like vibrant. Or yes, something. yes, yes, yes. And sound design. Yeah, sorry buddy. You're screwed. John Wick is doing so much that I almost start feeling bad for the guys he's beating up. <laughs> like the minions. Also, if anybody knows how many of the stunts were practical or not or different things like that, I really want to hear about it because a lot of this looks super practical. Ooh. Dang. It's such a great way to start a movie, man. <laughs> it's like a Western. Huh. Honestly, they don't say a lot, but they do tell a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And clearly, there's some operations going on here. Yeah. Possibly illegal. Are they were they dropping the gold in paint? Am I crazy for saying that? Uh, is that a thing? Is that like a method? Not quite sure. Also, all the the people that they pick, they look so like. Oh yes, dude. How they, should I say? They like fit the world somehow. Yeah, they're like very eccentric type of like character. You know. Yes, and they, a lot of them have like My tattoos and like. You killed a dog. Hmm. He stole a car. A car which currently is among our inventory. Oh, did he not get that back? No, he didn't get it back in the end of the last oh, movie. Oh, shoot. So we're giving everything up for a car? D have you not heard oh. about John Wick, bro? All right, time for the lesson. It is John Wick's car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they kept that a running thing. Yeah. So why don't we just give it back? <laughs> he killed my nephew. Yeah. My okay. Oh, that was sick. Who doesn't know my man over his car? Okay. And a puppy. Okay, it was a really cute puppy and a really cool car. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. You think it will stop now? Hmm? Well, I mean, you can make an attempt to be like, hey, here's your car back, sorry. Why don't we just eliminate it? Bro, I, I like how we're continuing the theme, though, that, that maybe John can't stop, right? Where it's like, I mean, it's like super that's, serious, that's but true. it's like we are. Focus. <laughs> this is so cool. Mm. And cheer. I oh yeah. It's just it's the same line. I like how this time though, now that you know who John Wick is, they're not gonna show you him. Ah, it's such good filmmaking, man. Once killed three men in a bar. <laughs> I know. I've heard the story. You're the so. Fucking pencil. <laughs> Listen to the story. The stories you hear about these men, if nothing else, has been watered down. Yeah, that is true. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love how he doesn't negotiate. He's not like, I want my car back. He's yeah. just like, you have my car. It's a power play. He, it is. To even call. <laughs> Honestly, I would just let him drive off, man. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's kind of just like, just let him do what he wants, you know? As long as he's not yeah, killing I, I, you. Yeah, just try and not piss him off as much as possible. <laughs> Sorry, you can't keep a Mustang quiet. What was no. your plan there, buddy? I don't know. I guess he didn't think you'd mess up the car. That is something that's cool about these movies is that while they have cool cars, they're not afraid to beat them up for the sake of cool action. Yeah. And I actually feel like that's unique. <laughs> that's just sick. Ooh. Demolition Derby out Dude, here. Dude, we, wow, like we got like a car foo battle or something. <laughs> 
from your little, car. The little like acting moments where he's like, really? You want to go? Fine. And he like smashes him. Okay, bro. I don't know what you were planning, Mr. Motorcycle. Yeah, like you can probably keep up, but like, what's the point if you can't really do anything? And I'm almost positive this Mustang, they legitimately did everything to it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they used this Mustang for like the studs. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh. That's what you get for shooting his car. All right, bro. Now he's pissed. Bro, did you just have to mess up his car? Like, come on, let him go. I feel like, I literally feel like that's why he came back. Ooh. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the comedic timing. Oh. oh. Dang. <laughs> Bring it, guys. See, this is why people need to keep telling the story. Like, the guy's like, oh, we've heard the story yeah, a million yeah, yeah. times. Yeah. Tell them about learn. the pencil, because clearly they didn't hear. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> also, a side thing, and this is totally to the set design, like, stuff like the water and stuff yeah. like that, that totally put there on purpose, and, and it adds to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how raw some of the moves are. He uses a lot of throws. Yeah. Oh, oh no, dude. dude. Nice try, bro. That was a sick roll. This is, like, a higher level... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big boss. <laughs> or not. That guy is. <laughs> oh, that guy's just a higher level human. Look at him. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> Which makes me question, was he just kind of screwing around with the other guys? He had to have been. <laughs> He's like, I tried to tell him the story. He's <laughs> he like, did. I tried to tell him. <laughs> I swear at this point, everything John Wick does is an ultimate power <laughs> move. Like, look at that. He walked into this guy's office and poured himself and the other guy a drink. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up and accept it? Hell yeah, this one just... Like, I would be like, great, what can I do? Do you need a church to go to? How can I help you on your journey, Mr. Wick? <laughs> yeah, they're really leaning into the whole Western vibe, this movie. It does feel like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the music sounds very... I mean, not that I know a lot, but it, it sounds... Those, like, those, like, Western guitar strums and stuff like that, yeah, for yeah, yeah. sure. And some of the way that they're doing, like, like the his shoes across the pavement and, and stuff uh -huh. like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also like how that every movie that does, like, an opening credit sequence like this, I feel like that's a movie, uh, a movie power move right there. <laughs> it's like, we're so cool, we're gonna do an opening credit sequence. <laughs> The coins remind me of, um... Pirates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a scratch. Oh. You don't want to take that to the, uh... When your mom says you have a car at home, and this is the <laughs> car at home. <laughs> yeah, it's like the used... You might want to take that one to the body shop, bro. Yeah, maybe. Oh. That's the letter. <gasps> Wait! Oh, That's wait. so cool, though. This is a different letter. Oh, it's a different letter? Which is so cool, because then that, like... That like makes it so much more than Important. just a car. That's that's actually I really like that a lot. Hey. Mm. Oh yeah. Dog number two. Nice peaceful place you got here. I like that they have the recurring characters too. Yeah. It's it's, it's cool. Oh, because they, they built a world world like you wanna you wanna yeah, kind of like hell? stick with it. <laughs> Thought you love this car. I don't know if you noticed, but you got a crack in your windshield. <laughs> mm. I see. That's why he couldn't see. Apparently, they didn't write the line until they messed up the car so that, like, all the damages are legit. Let me know when it's fixed. All right. They'll be ready Christmas 2030. <laughs> <laughs> On a side note, John Wick Christmas movie? Okay. Just saying. That would be kind of epic. That'd be interesting. Oh, yeah. That gun, I'm pretty sure, is an HK, like, P30 or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? He has more. I really like sequels that do this too, where it, it, it does that truly feel like a continuation of the story. Um, yeah. This does. Yeah. It's like down to the set design detail. I don't know why I, I'm a sucker for that. Might be doing that a little too soon there, John. It does go to show though, like... Huh. Like, like completely on cue. Like, I, I think that John can stop, but the fact that he already has dabbled in this life, it means that the life won't stop coming after That's him. true. Who are you? Santino. Oh no, they know each other. Oh yeah, he's speaking <laughs> in Italian, bro. It's like, that's when you know it's getting crazy. Good to see you. Good to see you. But why are we seeing you? Yeah. It's always yeah, does the he, question. Does he really mean that? But it definitely feels like anytime someone's at John's doorstep, there's like a reason. You know, it's not just, hey, well, I'm of course. visiting. He's a hit man, I mean, or, or whatever you want to call him. I feel like it's it's almost I'm sorry to hear about your wife, John. unfair to just call him a hit man. Thank you. Well, I mean, he has a contract, like, killer, so... And the dog, does he have a name? No. <laughs> he just got him, okay? 
I'm asking you not to do this. Hmm. I'm sorry. No one gets out and comes back without repercussions. Well, to be fair, no, I, I feel like nobody really ever got out besides John. This is your blood. If you don't do this, you know the consequences. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, but, but you can't say that after you just went on a killing rampage. Yeah, and also it's like, depending on what he, he was supposed to do or he's supposed to do. I think it's just like a favor. I think it's like a blood oath that you But that's you what I'm saying. Depending on what it is, right? Is it going to be worse than what he's going to have to do by refusing it? Yeah. Right? I'm sorry. Because now he says that he's not that guy and I'm not going to do this. But even refusing it means that he's going to have to do something now, right? He's going to have to become that guy again. You have a beautiful home, John. Oh, goodness. This guy feels so much more vindictive than, like, Vigo. Yeah. I mean, clearly. <laughs> Dang. Go, oh, John! Ooh. Dang. But now it's like... See, I actually don't think he, John expected this, though. Or if anything, he expected he was gonna die. I didn't expect this guy was gonna, like... Like, this is different. This is a statement. This is not just, oh, I'm gonna kill you. This is like he's burning his home and everything that he has and killing him or trying to. I, I guess so. Dang, man. Like, look at that. Well, good evening, John. <laughs> Something definitely occurred. Gas leak? Yeah, gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> you working again? I'll see you, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. All right, John. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Even he knows. Hey. Hold up, before you go anywhere, you should go check out our merch store. We just relaunched it. We have tons of cool designs and we have a special 100K subs limited edition clothing line. It's gonna be gone by the end of October. So feel free to go check it out. We're super, super proud of it. Now, back to the video. Dang. This is the same place, right? Yeah, it is. Cause this is all New York. He's like, dude, you just, you just left, bro. Good to see you again so soon, Mr. Week. Shall I announce you? He doesn't even have his, uh, his suit now. Nah, he just has got nothing. Impeccable. All right, what is this location in New York City? I swear, you keep seeing it in, like, all these, like, like, it was in Daredevil. It was in, it's in this now. Like, this, like, rooftop thing. What building is this in New York City? Because you see them use this in movies all the time. Interesting. He burned my house down. You rejected his marker. You're lucky he stopped. Yeah, him. it's fair play. What the hell were you thinking, giving a marker to a man like Santino D'Antonio? Yeah, like that was eventually going to come back. Like, I don't see. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Well, he didn't think. I mean, yeah, it's almost like he didn't think. It's, it's like he, he had to, though. He wanted to come get out, but it's like he's it's like you can't. Two rules that cannot be broken, Jonathan. No blood on continental grounds and every marker must be honored. I like how in both movies so far, those rules have both been broken. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the consequences have been, you know, like... No, of dire, course. Of course. So every time, so... You dishonor the mark, you die. You kill the hold of the mark, you die. You run, you die. So you might as well do it. Yeah, and so that's why I was thinking, like, you know, refusing it basically means you're back anyways. Be my guest, but until then... Hmm. Rules. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Because is that like he doesn't have to be on his side? Because if he goes against the uh, the like whatever I don't know what it's called exactly the high table or whatever. Yeah, then it's like you're really not gonna get out. Once again, this is just epic. Like like in a museum, that's so cool. Even if you check him for weapons, he still can kill. Can't him. he just? Yeah, like his freaking but arms. This was my father's collection. The entire thing. Probably, man. I mean, goodness, please. That's an awesome painting. It's like huge. And the fact that it acts kind of like, it's like the background. Or yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, I didn't want to do this, John. Had you stay retired, I would have respected it. Just cut the pleasantries, bro, and tell us what we got to do. That's what I hate about this guy. But I think he's right, though. I know, I still hate him. Could you get to me in time? How would you do it, I wonder? That woman's pen? No, bro, he only uses pencils. Come on. My hands. <laughs> oh, I needed the boogie man. Yeah, and so he brought it out. John Wick, just tell me what you want. I want you to kill my sister. Yeah, if you didn't already think this guy was horrible. There are 12 seats at the high table. When my father died, he willed this seat to her. Okay, mm. so it's one of the yeah. types of... You want me to kill Gianna D'Antonio. <laughs> but what I never did. Wouldn't kill that make a lot of enemies? Like, yeah, yeah, but it's like also the high table will kill him if he does not follow out his marker. Yeah, so it's like that's why. Okay. So it's impossible. I mean, he did. He did make the pact. Of course. I need the ghost, no spectro, John Wick. I mean, unless he can do it like very subtly, like or silently, you know. What's saying? 
Never want to waste words. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. We gotta pull out the old stuff. My man likes his darker colors. It's probably easier to wash the blood out, right? It's like it's probably just functional. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is to, to me this is such a perfect way to know what you did well in the first one and say okay let's explore this more yeah the world it's and it's just so cool it's like oh now we're going global now we're going you know these kind of the politics the high table everything that's it's so cool the italian continental i mean look at this thing what are you Here's my question. Can regular people go into the hotel? Like, what happens if a regular person tries to get a room here? <laughs> I feel like they're like, uh, they have like bouncers or something. <laughs> you know, that's what it feels like. I don't know. And here I'd heard you had retired. That was a lie. I had. Well, he had. Say qui per il santo padre. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's like, oh my gosh. All right then. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. This is some old alien. I have never known him not to be. Hmm. Look at this, man. Gosh. I think maybe I've just never had enough money to go to a hotel like this. <laughs> I love the shot that reveals the guns. It's so, like, classy, but, like, you know, they, they're dealing with guns and things. Like well, that. yeah, right? They're taking, like, the, the, the idea of, like, a sommelier for wine and, like... I need something robust. Precise. Robust. It's so, <laughs> it sounds like you're shopping for like, um, it's just, you know, like, like food or wine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Wick, do enjoy your party. <laughs> I don't know if he will, but we will. <laughs> it's crazy though. Like, yeah, he, he's got to carry a lot of, this is like full, you know, war gear. I like that they show it though. I think that's cool. Makes no, everything I, feel very real and grounded. Well, I feel like the main thing is also that people want to see that you yeah know? that's yeah, one yeah. of the cool things about like the weaponry and things like that like how they show them like kind of like you know really working the guns well like even remember in the <clears> first <throat> movie it's one of the few action movies where you see somebody stop and reload yeah right and so so they're keeping that kind of like very uh genuine almost authentic tactical even, feeling yeah and not even just authentic it's almost like how should i say like they like showing the intricacy yeah, yeah, of yeah, like yeah. the weapons and things like that because it's it's definitely that type of movie you know and this music is that an electric violin man like what is happening oh my gosh i would go to this party this reminds me of a uh, trans-siberian orchestra i don't know if anybody knows who that is i feel like i've heard of that yeah i'm sure you have yeah this is a sick concert that blue it's so iconic it's it's so it really is the lighting so the lighting and the the tone they set for some of these things really you don't appreciate almost how much it adds to the movie and the feeling in the world yeah they have so many different like really bright like glowy just like, like color really vibrant set pieces yeah. yeah does anybody know where they actually filmed this like i'm sure it's somewhere in italy because this these are obviously like ancient ruins but what is this that they're actually like having this whole thing take place in because this is super cool that blade you speak of was meant for their children uh oh they dang only meant to watch oh that's so hardcore is that smart i don't know i don't know either this is so cool can you imagine this is how where you freshened up i mean dang bro i mean honestly, i'm just gonna go run to the bathroom you know the ancient bath hall to be honest it's a little it's a little much for my taste i thought you were gonna be like yeah it's not really a lot for my taste oh. <laughs> that's so cool oh my man john hmm. john you gotta know why he's here there was a time not so long ago in which i considered us as friends i still do well it's just it's like him showing up always just kind of means of one course. thing so <laughs> what brought you back, John? A marker. Held by? Mm. Your brother. I like how he does her the justice of telling her. Well, I feel like he has no reason to hide it, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, heck, he doesn't care about the brother, really. This marker, is it how you got out? Yeah, right? It's related to that. And what was her name? This woman whose life has ended my own. <laughs> Helen. Helen. Was she worth the price that you now seek to pay? I mean, apparently so. Santino will lay claim to my seat at the table. He will take New York. And you will have been the one who gifted it to him. It's not about It's not his that, choice, though. though. You can't say he gifted anyone anything. It's almost like it's almost like you can take John out of the equation yeah. and it's just like it just happened. What would you Helen think about that, John? What would you Helen think about you? Oh, I mean, jeez. <sighs> Why? What do you mean why? 
she's already it's like a power thing man yeah she's already dead like she's clearly one of those kind of people and so I it's like lived my life my way yeah and i will find my way do you fear damnation john yes that's so interesting that he answers yes but i mean the fact that he waited you know that, that whole scene is such a beautifully directed scene yeah, uh, and there's so much that it says about both of their characters, just the way that it goes down, the fact that he holds her hand, the fact that she kills herself, the fact, everything yeah. about it. Especially, I think it, it, that explained more about John than it did her. Even like, yeah, things about like what he kind of thinks about it. You know, it's clearly not just a killer. Like that's no. it. The genre changed up. What's going on? Mm. Oh, bro. Uh -huh. Good night. <laughs> it's like he just he knows. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Also, I know that you were saying like she sent him away, but I'm also I, and maybe this is just my own head cannon. It, I almost get the impression that it's like no one would be able to get in there besides John. That's because nobody okay, has yeah, access yeah, yeah. to the catacombs and stuff. <laughs> it's on stage. <laughs> oh shit. yeah! Oh, close range gunshots. Wait, dang! They were like, you liked the club in the last movie. Bring it on. Oh, oof. Dude, can you uh, make sure you don't kill anybody else, bro? You shoot some guy in the head, that bullet's gonna go through him. I don't know, maybe there's enough bone in the head. Ugh. Stop some of it. He's shooting them really close, though. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Ooh, I like the way that they they have this Ooh. interesting, like, close-range combat with the gun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way they film it, too. The cinematography yeah, 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 is yeah. on point. Oh, yeah. They don't hide anything. <sighs> I just gotta get back to his other guns. Hmm. Loose ends. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see, it's not them. It's 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 Santino. No, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why you said loose ends, right? Bro, we were so ready for this already. Come on, man. You know, you guys are screwed. Ooh, yeah, get yeah. out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, it's too cool. And I would bet so much money these are all blanks, right? Because I feel like the lighting is so interactive. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, I don't. No? You can make it lighting interactive like that, right? That's true. I'm not saying that it's not, but but if I had to make a bet, I would say that it isn't. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. That was really cool. Oh, nice! Nice! Oh, let's go. You guys got tired of the other gun? Some shotgun action. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes. Those people are shotgun. probably just gone. Yeah, can you imagine being the cleanup crew from the first movie with that? Dude. Yeah. Good luck. Oh my gosh. Man. Oh, Ooh. that was sick. Oh, just that close. Like your leg is gone, man. Oh yeah. Ah. Ooh. Also, I love how they've done a really clear job signifying the different levels of the catacombs coming in mm -hmm. with the different lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that he's closer to getting out now. Oh, he's out. Hmm. What, was the, what was the guy's name? Uh, Santino, I think. Santino. Ooh. How many times has he got hit by a car this- Oh, jeez, oh, bro, weird. he just comes out shooting. Nice. He just slapped him, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Shoot. That's literally the most brutal stunt oh. ever. Look at this. Have you seen that one video where that stormtrooper falls down the stairs? No. <laughs> no. Ooh, oh my god. More oh stairs? Oh my gosh, bro. Ooh. This is just such awesome choreography. Bro. Do you even have another magazine for that? Well, I guess you do. Oh! oh. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. They probably honestly were watching through the rooms being like, what is going on outside? <laughs> do I need to remind you that there will be no business conducted on the continental grounds? Sorry, we didn't realize. Now. Well, that was lucky. I suggest a visit to the bar <laughs> so you can calm yourself. Unless, unless you want to just go back outside. Gin, wasn't it? Yes. Bird. Is there any way that John was like trying to get to here? I feel like possibly, maybe. right? He seemed like he was going somewhere and I'm assuming, you know, it was close by the catacombs. That's true. Did seem like he was running to it or something like at a few points. So I guess it wasn't luck exactly. I'm not going to lie. Like I got to give this guy credit for, uh, you know, going toe to toe with, you know, John Wick for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, I like that about this world too. Is that John Wick? He's strong. He's not like the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Like they, they, they do a good job of finding that balance. Well, I mean, he is like the strongest, probably. Um, but, but like, he's not like ridiculous. He's not like OP compared to like you know some of the other guys or something. I don't know. You had no choice. 
He wants her seat at the table. He'll get it now. Yeah. Yeah, but now John is free to go after him. Yeah, now John him. can kill him. I mean, honestly, we should all, like, well, okay, work together. Yeah. You're free. Unless he just wants to retire, like, and just get out of it. But he can't uh-huh. because Santino's going after him now. No. Hmm. You killed my ward, someone I was close to. Okay, and him. I'll make it quick. Hmm. I promise. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll try and do the same. Okay, but, like, can't we go after Santino first? Because he nah. was the source of it. You know what I'm saying? Like This rounds on me. Consider it a professional courtesy. I actually kind of wish we did that, but yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense that that like he seemed to have more, more than emotional. just a, a job, like an actual yeah. emotional connection to this woman. So it's like, it doesn't matter. Sorry, buddy. But I still feel like even then, you know, like if you think about it, like Santino's the one who ordered it and he himself admitted that John had no choice. So you guys can kill each other after Santino, you know? Hmm. <laughs> It's cool that he, um, yeah, it's one of those things where like, that type of storytelling where, you know, he knows like a whole bunch of different languages. Oh, yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would imagine, right? Dang. Dude, see, that's what I was it's saying. It's literally what you were saying last time. You got to back those files up. Bro. Hello, John. I understand if you're upset. I swear <laughs> I want to punch this man in the face. Shut up with your, I understand if you're, oh, no, shut up. What kind of, like, dumb... What? (laughs) Quit saying all this stuff like you don't have any power. Like, Like, what what kind of man would I be? A prick. That's what kind of person you'd be. Avenge your sister's murderer. You. Well, there's the ledge. Could you let management know I'll be checking you out in the morning? Like, Santino, he's kind of, like, dumb for, like, even trying to pin this like the marker like do the whole marker thing because like bro you know you're just getting john wick you know after you now at the same time i think that nobody else could have killed the sister like i think we almost underestimate how difficult of a job it would have been for anybody else but that's what i'm saying that makes my point even more valid because it's like you made the guy the only guy that could take out your sister your enemy (laughs) so john wick open denomination seven million Oh my gosh. So he's basically doing kind of like the same thing that Vigo did in a way. Yeah. Like making it open. Except for he's just paying more. <laughs> he's like, yep, yeah, John looks back. <laughs> That's such a cool shot. That it was really nice. The marker is over. I have everyone in New York looking for him. It doesn't matter. I doubt we will see him again. You know. Uh, did you hear the pencil story? <laughs> That is the lesson of these movies. Yeah, like you incinerated the priest temple. Hmm. Now he's free of the marker. What do you think he'll do? Yes, Santino. Yeah, and in fact, the marker was almost what was preserving you. Of course, that's that's the one thing that I. That's why. He, why would he? Like, I know that he he was ambitious and wants yeah. to get his sister, but it's like he did warn you. I like how he's rubbing it in his face, though. <laughs> It's like he's almost rooting for... Well, it's almost like, you know, John. Santino feels a little bit like... Oh my gosh! That is the coolest gun! Wow, that's gonna be... Ooh. I don't know if you can knock him out like that. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Ooh! It's like a, he's like a sumo. Sumo wrestler. Oh, dang! Those are, those are real shots, man. She got those in on you. Well, yeah, I mean, his body armor's not gonna last forever. We gotta... Yeah. Ah, man! That is so gnarly. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. With the pencil. <laughs> the pencil. <laughs> We're finally seeing an action. Oh. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> dang. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, bro. Oh. Honestly, that's kind of an endorsement for Ticonderoga. <laughs> How did those things hold up? That was a cool, like, how should I say, like, like it was transitioning between each other. Out of, the of sequence, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what the? How is my man still up? I'm also curious as to the rules of, like, civilian casualty. You know, like, eh, you know, it's like you got to try and keep it on the down low, I feel like. Yeah, because, like, could you just, like, IED an entire area? No, I assume not. Here we go again. Oh, the silencers. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about the people? Sorry, sorry. Jeez. <laughs> suspicious activity. Not nah, nothing wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, the thing that makes it very different from normal is like the rules that they have in yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, honestly, guys, it's New York. You could probably start fighting, and it's not the weirdest thing they've seen on the subway. <laughs> They'd probably kind of be into it. They'd be like, "Yeah, go for it." I'm curious. Okay, if anybody lives in New York, are these like popular stops that they're doing? I'm just curious as far as you know, like the little details where it's like, oh, yeah. we just had Canal Street. I know Canal Street's big. Rector Street, though, like I'm curious if it's like almost realistic how things are emptying out during rush hour. They just did it during rush hour, like. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah they, they actually just didn't tell anyone they were filming. Yeah, because you're right. No one thought different. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, we're at a. Oh, ah. he made it. Dang, John. I like how there's moves he does too. He does that foot kick a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The blade is in your aorta. Hmm. You pull it out, you will bleed, and you will die. He's got to get to. Uh, he's yeah. letting him live. Consider this a professional courtesy. <laughs> how did he even? Like that's so cool. Aim that. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Even even this the subway thing lining up, being like this is the end of the line. That's cool. But I mean, yeah, he's still got a whole bunch of people. Oh, yeah. After him. He's like, geez, sanitation is my part time hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a full time killer. Take me to him. Tell him it's John Wick. <laughs> he's like, get under there, bro. Hey, man, you got a cold. Oh, it's just Morpheus, man. How old is he? I don't know. It's probably, you know, I mean, I mean, to be here, fair, but... Keanu's pretty old, too. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Oh, that's true. I, he's yeah, got to yeah. be at least in his 40s, I want to say. I hate the Matrix. It was a while ago. Yeah, actually. dude. Now right? The Matrix it. is 99. That's so crazy. It doesn't yeah. feel that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Wick doesn't remember, but we've met many years ago. Yeah, in 99. <laughs> <laughs> Are they, like, trying to make a reference, kind of like? Yeah. I have no idea. You gave me this. Hmm. You also gave me a choice, and so you see, I survived. Yeah. So, in in a strange way, in this world, he he spared your life. Seven million dollars. Damn. <laughs> it's Christmas. We're going to Applebee's after this. <laughs> I need you to move me underground. Get me to him. How sweet I can't like it tell is. what the their relationship is. I is like it, that, it right? So it's or? not like everybody loves him either. Yeah. You're going to help me. Why the fuck would I do that? Well, I mean, because I'm the only one that can help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's been laughing a long time. <laughs> my man really found that funny. I wonder what he meant by help him. Like, I wasn't quite sure about that. There's a storm coming for everyone under the table. Oh, because of Santino? None of my people sent Gianna D'Antonio to the hereafter. But Santino was going to take over New York, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which takes over New York and it affects everybody. Yeah. Seven million dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Wick. <laughs> so I guess you have a choice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Me, or do you want to just give me a gun? <laughs> it's like the say. This is such underrated dialogue, man. Yeah. It's so cool. Somebody please get this man a gun. Oh yeah. Kimber, nineteen eleven. See, the, these are the smart, the smart characters. Oh, and remember, you owe me. What? Wait, I thought the whole point was that you this was me owing you. Yeah, like yeah, I thought Guys, this was mutually not, beneficial. Get this BS out of yeah, here. Let's not that was mutually mistake. beneficial. And even if he does technically owe you, like I feel like you just don't say it. Like yeah. he might yeah, yeah, return yeah. the favor himself or something like that. You know. Hmm. He's just right there. Yeah. But dang. Dang. Um. <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot. That was sick. You're out. Go, go, go. Take him out. Nice. Oh, dang. That was so. That was all Keanu, too. <laughs> That's amazing. That's just amazing, man. I mean, it's just literally a one man army. It's so cool. Chucks the gun. I love how they're all coming from like different directions. Yeah. Oh dang! He's like taking out like a, he's like neutralizing. Yeah, 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 a yeah. Bit. And then finishing. Them. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that was so sick. Yeah, the gunshots are still going, bro. What's oh, going? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> what? That, the... that was clean. Is this like a real thing? 
I have no idea. Or did they build this whole thing? Either one would be crazy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if it's real, I'm going right now. And if they built it, it's it is real. So, <laughs> but yeah. The marker is complete, John. Bro, <laughs> you should have just run away. You came after. You tried to him. kill him. You were gonna try to like. At least I can understand Vigo. It's like his son, but yeah. you're just stupid. I think you're addicted to it. To the vengeance. I always wonder how much of this, like, like I know he's kind of just like BS <clears throat> monologuing, but there's still a part of me. It's like I wonder how real it is. I'm not sure because, because like I know I'm addicted to the vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people that are addicted to the vengeance, but I feel like his his the speed at which he was able to try and turn it back off. Why? Yeah, bury yeah, yeah. his guns yeah, yeah, yeah. again permanently, Bye. kind of deal. I just feel like he does. He does want to, but like, yeah, it's almost impossible. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm back. Oh, ooh, nice. That's so sick. It's time to go melee or get another gun. Now nah, we gotta get these guns for these guys. <laughs> this is so trippy. I wouldn't know how to film this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd be getting confused yeah, as like the stunt man and stuff like that. I'd be like, whoa, is that Keanu? <laughs> Where's my? <laughs> Somebody cracked the glass so I know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's like it is like MMA a little bit, isn't it? No, yeah, yeah. Like the way they're grappling and stuff. I feel like they're they're definitely trying to make it. You know, they're definitely implementing those moves. And yeah. Like that. Ciao, bro. Oh, ooh. Jeez, bro. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, oh, that was whoa. cool. What? Is your brain broken yet? <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? Because like, how did they not? How did they not have show the camera? You know? Oh, they have to remove it digitally. Yeah, because like, they're totally, they're totally they, removing they it digitally. Put that John scene, over that. That scene would be impossible. It's tell. impossible. Waste them. He's like, Don't oh, this is a surprise. Everything has been colorful. I see. Seeking safe harbor, I presume. <laughs> How often does this happen? That's what I wonder in this world. Like how many people are like, book it to the hotel? Probably every time that Wick is on a job. This kingdom is mine and mine alone. <laughs> then enjoy your kingdom, Winston, where you'll still care. And you, it's privileges. He just, I feel like he's just, he has too much of an ego, you know? Of course. I'm here to see Santino D'Antonio. He's waiting for you in the lounge, so. Okay. Whoa. That looks kind of good, man. That doesn't. I don't know what good. that is, but duck fat. Oh, oh, what? Makes all the difference. I thought they were potatoes. Jonathan, listen to me. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Long can stay here. A long time, and never eat the same meal twice. So he's basically saying, well, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. Gonna... He's like, I could just hide here forever. Just walk away. Yeah, Jonathan, walk away. Ooh. Whoa. <gasps> what have you done? <laughs> Was that the, the last shot? Did. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Dang. Mr. Wick, if you would be so inclined. I feel like he doesn't actually care that it, if he dies at this point. Yeah. Like, I feel like that that that, that was way. part of it, is it was like, look, I need to finish this. I need to finish something. I'm, I'm done with the rules. It has been a pleasure, Mr. Wick. Goodbye. Is this Central Park? I think it is. Of course it is. I have no idea. I know nothing of New York. Jonathan. Winston. Hmm. What am I looking at? The Camaro's double Santino's open contract has gone international. Oh my gosh. And, and the Continental. You killed a man on company ground. Yeah, he has to. Yeah. The doors to any service or provider in connection with the Continental. They're all gone. Are closed to you. I am so sorry. Your life is now forfeit. Oh, I don't think hmm. he has anything to apologize for. No. John made that choice. Then why am I not dead? Because I deemed it not to be. <laughs> so cool. You have one hour. I can't delay it any longer. I'll kill them all. <laughs> of course you will. In one hour. John Wick, ex communicado. Dang. That's so cool that like there was actually that connect. Ah yeah. man, it's this movie is not just a freaking action movie. I swear. <laughs> yep. Jeez, the mom. Dang. I mean, what did you think? I think that was a very good sequel. It's it's such a great sequel, to be honest. Yeah, I think that was very well done. They it it kept what I really liked about the first one, mm -hmm. and then expanded on the things that I liked, which is the world. Yeah, which is the world. Yeah, it's so cool. And I think that's a very unique thing about this is that it 
while it is kind of like one of those, you know, action, hitman feeling types of movies, it is also like, it's also kind of like a fantasy movie in the way that it, it's like, it likes its world building. No, it's so unique in that way. And mm-hmm. I think that's the reason that the first movie did so well is because it, it if it was just another action movie, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't be as iconic as it yes, is, but it's like, yeah, I agree. because it's so unique because there's the style and flair to the fighting and the choreography and the directing and the lighting and the world and just, just every element of it. I think that is why it's so popular. And I love that they leaned into that more in this movie. And it really was like, I feel like it, the lens was just widened where it was like the first movie is like a kind of a straight revenge story. Whereas this, it's like, oh, the door is swung wide open. And now this is, this is something bigger. Yeah. Uh, um, and yeah. the fate, the markers and everything about that, it's just like all that kind of stuff is super cool. And I, I really just think it was so well done. Yeah. I think they, they are one of the best at like knowing who their audience is, what type of movie they have and really trying to make a fun and good version of whatever that is. Sure. You know, like once again, I think the story, like the plot is not very complex or groundbreaking. You know what I'm saying? No, but it does it like need to be, but but also I think it's it's important to recognize that they don't just don't don't have like a stupid plot like oh, like of course right no, no, no yeah. but like really like sometimes it's underappreciated where it's <laughs> like yeah this isn't the most genius plot in the world at the same time it's like they thought of something that was cool that made sense that wasn't completely stupid or illogical and that that does tie it together right like it you need that kind of to to hold everything together properly and they do of they course. don't forget yeah. their fundamentals and i no. think that's why something and the, i don't know i think that those are the details that are overlooked in something like this where a lot of people will talk about the choreography and the action of the world and keanu but mm-hmm. it's like they don't ever forget their fundamentals because of course. you see movies with so much more money and so many more cool worlds and flashiness and everything like that and they forget their fundamentals and it sucks of course no no i'm not yeah the story doesn't suck um it's definitely they're not trying anything to they're not going too far and i think that it's it's good to understand how much is too much you know what i'm saying totally. i completely like, agree i feel like if they spread their um you know either resources or try to tackle too many um different things it will start to become a detriment to the you know what what is liked sure you know? and i like that they are sticking to kind of like you know what they know and what their you know success kind of is without yeah. making it feel too like repetitive yeah um, i think they found a, a very good and solid you know process there yeah yeah i agree um, and also um i think it's very interesting because i was i was thinking about like how the killing and stuff like that how it, why it feels so you know like cool and like the classiness of it and it was like we were saying it's like those rules you know yeah that they kind of um stick to and it's it's very interesting because like usually with killing and in any action movie the whole action and the killing part is very you would almost see it as like animalistic in a way right because it's yeah. very just you know violent and stuff and while this is very violent i mean even more violent so, than some other action movies oh for sure the the killing doesn't feel completely animalistic and i think it's because of the fact that at the drop of a dime if the rules state something majority of them are going to be like oh wait yeah, yeah, we yeah. have to stop yeah and it's all you know? about the it, it, I think that combined with the music and the lighting and the suits and the like, it's like all of these aesthetics kind of combined together. It really makes it feel like, ah, like there's just something more there, which is really cool. No. And it's like, I think that it's interesting because, you know, the, the whole, how should I say it's while it is less animalistic mm-hmm. by it being less animalistic, it means it's less emotional and it's less human, Right. So you have them, even if they had connections, right? Yeah. They had connections or whatever. They are willing to 
basically take the life of that person they had a connection with even but if they're so professional about it yeah it's almost yeah. like no there's more to it than just emotion right? yeah even yeah, if yeah, i yeah. don't think this is you know i i don't want to do this i have to do this right for sure but with john i feel like because he he tried to get out of it he himself like going against the rules at the end and even just overall, I feel like he's starting, he, he wants to go against the rules in a way. Right. And so yeah, well, I feel I mean, like that's like what the big thing about this movie I yeah, feel like was is that it like makes, for the first time he went against the rules. Yeah. It, it makes him more like animalistic in a way because he's, he's doing it for more of like kind of, or emotion. more human to be honest. But. Right. But that's what I'm saying is like, even though, because you're going more in a, in a sort of like animalistic side and not like a robotic side, you know what I'm saying? Like some sort of like cold, sure, like, oh, sure, I'm sure, just sure. listening to the rules. He actually is more human than the rest of them, right? Yeah. It's almost like he's doing things for human reasons in mm-hmm. a way, you know? Yeah. And so that it's interesting to kind of like see that division between the two. No, I totally agree. Yeah. So I, I, it's cool. It's exciting. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, let us know if you guys want us to watch the third one. I'm having a blast. Let us know what other sort of like uh, kind of actiony movies uh, that you guys want us to watch. I know like there's, there's just a lot of big ones I haven't seen, like the Equalizer is something that comes to mind. Um, I don't know. Let us know in the comments down below. As always, full length reactions up at the Patreon. The next week's reaction, whether that's John Wick 3 or something else, this movie here. Is also going to be up on Patreon for you guys to go ahead and check out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. We would love to have you. Um, feel free to check out our merch. Got another cool shirt here. It's all linked in the description. Uh, it really helps us out. And uh, all that being said, if you do decide to stick around, we will see you all in the next video.